Now Selwyn had a special call. Never mind. To attend the civic ball. Never mind. The tickets All right. are for two. Hey. But to him, girls are taboo. Oh, whatever will he do? Never mind. Tonight, Morris. I'll take him. She can't half shift her food, I'll say that for her. Where are you going? Uh, the Lotus Blossom in Huddersfield. Huddersfield? Well, let's face it, there's no one else in Scarsdale, and it is our anniversary. Two months to the day. Since what? Since we first met. How exactly did you meet Vera, Morris? You've never told me. Uh, no, well, uh, Vera asked if it could be our little secret, you know. Oh. All right, I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, Morris. Why, who, hey, who's a pretty boy in there? Oh, get off! And look at your jaw! What, are you getting all dressed up? Well, what difference does that make? Well, don't just sit there. I'm expecting fear any minute. It's their two-month anniversary. Who what? It's exactly two months to the day since Morris met Vera. Oh, I know all about that. It was over tea and suggestive biscuits in the Blue Lagoon, wasn't it? <laughs> in a ruffle. Uh, <laughs> hey, Selwyn, come on. Uh, sort yourself out. Do us a bit of tips. <laughs> First prize was a quarter of dolly mixtures, wasn't it? <laughs> right, they're not easy. Yeah. All right, all right. right. I shall have to go and wash my hands. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Scarsdale Samaritans. <laughs> right, item 33. We've had some complimentary little work the club's done to improve the image of Scarsdale. Also in recognition of this year's mayor, who happens to be my brother. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd be getting a stack of tickets for the ball. What's that got to do with you? Well, I, I work on the council, don't I? And, uh, you know, I, I know what's going on in the corridors of power. I heard they were sending a stack of tickets. How many did they send? Four. <laughs> How very convenient. That's what I thought, chap. Just one each. Your hands. Hey, just a minute, Mr. President. I, 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 don't, I don't think it's quite right just to, just to share them out between us like that. But it is right. It's a committee decision. Really, does not it? And the, uh, the club isn't just us. I mean, it, it's all the members. I think, I think all the members ought to have a, a chance of going. What's the use of being on the committee if we don't get first <laughs> whack of the three tickets? <laughs> we always do that. Frogget, ever since you came on this committee, you've been trying to undermine our... Tickets. <laughs> sure, that. No, just a minute. No, I, honestly, I think we ought to have some sort of a raffle, you know, to give everybody a, a fair chance. I mean, c can't we have a show of hands about that? If you like, but there won't be your hands showing. <laughs> if I might intervene, Mr. President, uh, before we start getting all acrimonious, Selwyn, I agree with everything you say. You have spoke up for the little man, and I admire you for it. <laughs> However, we have to be realistic. Whoever goes to the Civic Ball will be ambassadors for the Scarsdale Working Man's Club and Institute. Men who can conduct themselves with dignity and decorum, familiar with the higher things in life, which knife and fork to use. <laughs> Men who can talk on various subjects with ease. Oh, uh, people who will read the Times. <laughs> Men who possess dinner suits. I'm sure you have a dinner suit, Selwyn. Yeah, of course I have. Well, I, I mean, I haven't actually got one, but, but I know a fella in Mexico has got one that's about my size. <laughs> so in suggesting that the committee members should use these tickets, I think we're acting in the best interests of the club and therefore for the members. You see what I mean, Selwyn? And now that the motion has been fully debated, I think we should have a show of hands, Mr. President. Sure, man. Carried unanimously. <laughs> hey, hey, Annie, Mr. Secretary. Yes, Selwyn? He's not dead, is he? Who? Your brother, the mayor. Of course he isn't dead. What you on about? Thank you for a lovely evening, Morris. Thank you for a lovely evening, Vera. I'll take your coat, love. I'm sorry about the curry king prawns. Uh, yeah, that's all right, love. Are you feeling better? Yes, fine, thanks. I sometimes have that problem with streaky bacon. Funny that. <laughs> yes, well, we're all different, aren't we? I mean, that's what makes life so interesting. Oh, yes, it's the difference. It's definitely the nice thing. <laughs> hey, sunshine. Hey, say hello to Uncle Murray, thank you. <laughs> Come on, say hello to Auntie Vera. Come on, say hello. <laughs> it won't bite you. Hey, now sit. Sit. Fang. Sit. 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 Oh, <laughs> please yourself. <laughs> hey, did you, did you have a nice time? Did you have plenty of sweet and sour and fried lice? <laughs> hey, you'll never guess where I'm going. I hope it's Australia. 
<laughs> you talk daft down, Morris. Oh, I'm a warm. You wouldn't be if you went to Australia. <laughs> you caught that, didn't you? Oh. Honestly, they've, they've, they've sent some tickets, like, you know, for, for, the, for the committee members who happen to be there tonight. It's great, look at it. That's the uh, ticket. Isn't it fantastic? The, the mayor sent them personally, you know, for, for, it was sort of in recognition of all the work we've done for Scarsdale and for the club, and because he's Harry's brother. <laughs> Which is something, it says black tie. You notice that? Don't mean there's anybody dead, it means evening dress. I mean, I haven't got one, but, but I know this conjurer in Mexico who's got one. I'm going to ask him if I can borrow it. I hope he's taking the budgies out of the pockets. Who are you taking with you, Selwyn? You what? Well, it's a double ticket. What do you mean? You've got to take a lady. Where does it say that? Look there, double it says. Is that what that means? By all, I didn't notice that. Oh, I shouldn't worry about it, Selwyn. There'll be thousands of beautiful women queuing up outside the council yard, hoping to be invited. <laughs> it's not going to be. You, you've got to take somebody who's used to this sort of thing. I mean, they're, they're sitting down to eat. Well, I mean, he'd be daft not to when he's got a qualified concert secretary working in his public works yard. The mayor consulted you. Yeah, well, not, not personally, like, but he sent one of his clerks down to the yard, asked me to get, find some plant pots for the stage. They're going to put plants and artificial flowers in them. You know, it makes the band look better. <laughs> I, I, I gave him lots of constructive suggestions. Like what? Well, what sort of plant pots? <laughs> and who's going to be the lucky girl, then, Selwyn? You what? Who's the lady you're taking to the civic ball? I don't know. I can only think of one person, I can't. There you are, gentlemen. This'll make you forget all your troubles. Civic ball, then? Oh, yes, my wife was cancelled at evening class in embroidery. My wife's made a miraculous recovery from her fibrositis. <laughs> Unfortunately, my wife's on nights again. Oh, that is bad luck. Yes, yeah, so I've been forced to invite Elsie Partridge. Scarsdale? Oh, I like to spread a little happiness. <laughs> they say a pretty girl is like a melon. That's a green Find the cookie, please, Raymond. How are you going, Elf? We were perfectly happy until two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> the gentlemen of the committee were discussing their social arrangements for the civic balls, Elwin. What? Partners. The glamorous ladies we're escorting to the ball, boy. Where we can dance the... It might not be Harry Baxter. I mean, he's, he's a good sax player, but he goes a bit out of tune when he's been on the bottle bit. Joe Losser, Victor Sylvester, <laughs> Yehudi Menuhin, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fantastic he is. Hey, give us a bag of nuts. And it old Klaus taking his old lady. And Jack's taking his wife. I'm too busy with my consultations. What, you're not organising the uh, civic ball, are you? Well, no, I'm not, I'm not organising it, but, you know, I'm being consulted, you see, about all the details. We, I've, I've got to get a load of stair rods. We don't need stair rods for a dance? <laughs> no, well, they're, they're for the red carpet they're putting down up the steps of the town hall. You know, for all the official guests to walk up. I love to walk up a red carpet. No, the only trouble is this one's a bit greeny-brown. <laughs> I'm in arm with the beautiful Elsie Partridge. <laughs> Who's going on your arm, Selwyn? I'm, I'm actually decided yet. We thought you might take your mother. <laughs> Don't be daft, you can't take your mother. Could take that dog of yours. <laughs> I bet it's a good dancer. <laughs> what, are they having the St Bernard's Waltz? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you've got it all wrong. Selwyn's got it all organised. There's a young woman somewhere. Beautiful in a tantalising way, eh? A young woman with a with a hint of mystery in her part. The ball, eh, Sal? You think I, I, I met her, like, you know, when... Uh, I, I met her when I was in the army at Catrick Camp. Well, scrubbing out the navvy. <laughs> oh, no, she'll be on top-secret military intelligence, won't you, Sal? Um, I'm, I'm saying no more. She was in military intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> and does karate, eh? Black belt. <laughs> I've got to go and see the mayor, you know, because I'm going to get him some tombola prizes and some bingo tickets and, and I've got to see him about these stair rods, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you wait till she comes, magic! Yeah. Hey, did with royalty? I bet when it turns midnight she'll turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> That'll make two. He thinks you're a rug. <laughs> <laughs> Where you been, Morris? Sounds like the committee. <laughs> Hey, Morris. No, no, I don't mean that. I mean, I mean, I mean, where did you meet her when you first met her? Oh, you mean uh, when I met her at the Blue Lagoon Tea Rooms? Ah, uh, yeah, but I, I don't really mean that. I don't mean. I mean, I mean, I mean, how? You know what I mean? How? Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Uh, well, uh, I made a special arrangement. What? You mean you arranged to meet her specially? 
That's right. <laughs> hey, can you do that, Morris? I mean, can, can, can you can you arrange to meet a woman? I mean, like a young lady through a special arrangement? Well, there are ways and means, you know. Spoke a lot of languages, or was a black belt at karate, <laughs> <laughs> or even perhaps one who, who was like connected with the royal family. What's the matter? Are you having trouble getting a partner for this civic ball? No, no, it's it's all arranged, Morris. That is, it, it's all arranged through one of them. What's it? You know, special. Are you sure that it's all fixed? Y yeah, it's all arranged through a special arrangement. I, are you sure? Y yeah. Look, look I'll, I'll check the dog for a walk while you're getting some cocoa, shall I? Come on, sunshine. Let's go and bite somebody. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only fella I know that can peel an orange with his hand in his pocket. <laughs> Fights all around friendship service. Help you meet your ideal partner. Morris yeah. Froggy brought it in. He wants us to get Selwyn to fill it in. But why didn't Morris get um, Selwyn to do it himself? I don't think Morris wants him to know for some reason. <laughs> look at this question there. Hey, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> 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 oh, morning, Selwyn. Uh, why are you going to oh. <laughs> A couple of bags of nuts, please, Raymond. And the pint's off cooking. No, I've got no time. I've got a bike over to Mexborough. See this man about a suit. <laughs> Where are you going, Taff? Hey, I ate you with the Sunday Times. You were dead lucky, cos usually there's three in a book. They forgot the book this week. The Sunday Times, though. Isn't that a coincidence? A sort of, um... Uh, oh, a uh, survey. Oh, thank you, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> they want to, um... Uh, the typical... Uh, you like? Pigeons. <laughs> You should fill this form in, Selwyn. Oh, come on, Selwyn. Hey, hey, it's magic, isn't it? I read, I read all, the, all the supplements and all. I mean, that's why I know so much about everything. Oh, well, they certainly want to know all about you then, boy, won't they? They've they, they probably heard about me, you see. That's probably why they sent him. Go on, ask Miss, Miss Starter for ten. Name and address. That's easy. Selwyn H. Frog. Oh, never mind about that. Get to, get to the in-depth bit. Well, I... The juicy bit, come on. <laughs> Educational background. Public school, grammar school, comprehensive school. Canal Street. Canal Street? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, everybody goes there. Well, that makes it a public school. Pub... All right, interest in the arts. Who's your favourite painter, boy? Well, I like all sorts of painters, I, you know, because you read about them. I, I like uh, Rubens and Van Gogh and Piquet. He, he did that mural on the stage of the Carl Paul, you know. He's, he's great. <laughs> right, winter sports. Uh, rugby league and dominoes. <laughs> no, no, winter sports, you know. I... Downhill slalom. Okay. The downhill slalom? Yeah, SLA, um, but, but I don't actually play a musical instrument. Hey, hey, hang on a minute, I've just had a thought. I, I can provide bicycle pumps. Ah, oh, now I believe they're working on a Times bicycle pump supplement. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, you better find... Civil <laughs> engineer, are you sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Civil engineer and, and consultant. Consultant? Who consults you, Selwyn? <laughs> well, lots of people consult me. A fella consulted me when I was excavating at the back of the bus station. What did he consult you about? Which bus to go to the cemetery on? Huh? <laughs> that's, that's the all the time. You know. Hey, about for this, could have got to get going. Yes, that's all. He's doing a noon and night in Nottingham. I'll leave it to me, shall we? <laughs> right, it's great, isn't it? It's fantastic. Right. Okay. <laughs> According to this, Selwyn will go to the Civic Ball with a passionate civil engineer who likes to watch rugby league while listening to Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a fantastic article in here all about archaeology. It's all these people that are having a dig, you know, for... Months. Yeah, Roman ones, great, isn't it? I don't know why we want Roman pavements. We have enough trouble with our own. <laughs> Hello, Morris. Where have you been? I've been out. You never go out on a Sunday afternoon. Hey, starting going to Sunday school. <laughs> <coughs> if you must know, I had to pick up something from the club and I had to go to the post. But you don't write letters. I never said it was a letter. It could be an important document relating to a member of this family. Hey, it's not summer for me, is it? Uh, you might say, yeah. Hey, you, you, you're, not, you're not sent away for that do-it-yourself archaeological kit, have you? I'm <laughs> saying no more, sir. It's of excavating pavements. And I, I, I mean, I dig up a lot of pavements. I mean, they're not Roman ones, but it doesn't make any difference, does it? I don't know why they bother. There's enough pavements as it is. Well, you can't go to Scarborough on Thursday. It's the Civic Bowl on Thursday. You can't go to Scarborough on Thursday. It's the Civic Bowl. Ah, oh, Morris just said that, man. <laughs> but you don't take any notice of him. <laughs> and you are going to that dance if I have to lead you by the ear. It's the first time a froggit has ever been invited to the town hall. Except when your father was summoned for not paying his rates. <laughs> so you are going. But, but I haven't got a lady partner. You leave that to me, Selwyn. I don't want one from British Rail lost property. <laughs> 
Leave it to me, Selwyn. Leave it to Morris. He'll find you a nice girl. Can you do that, Aunt Morris? Nothing is impossible, Selwyn. Hey, well, in that case, do you think you can find me one who speaks six languages, is a black belt at karate and has got connections with the royal family? <laughs> Ah, oh, Evie Morris. How's oh, Cinderella? Cinderella. Oh, oh, Selwyn. <laughs> it's all fixed up, Raymond. I ran computer friendship and they're sending a part around for Selwyn. I wonder what she's like. I've no idea. Of course, they'll never tell you of an advantage of me. That's how he met his wife. Look, I must dash, you know. Selwyn's a bag of nerves. I'll have to calm him down. Be there when he's... <laughs> oh, 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 yes. You shall. <laughs> Evie, my lords. You look like three bouncers from Mecca. Watch it, Ray. Where's Selwyn? I believe he's waiting at home for whatever the computer sends round. I'll be a laugh, bro. Uh, where's Selwyn? He's putting on that dinner suit he borrowed from that chap in Mexborough. He'll be down in a minute. Oh, she should be here soon. Oh, I do hope it's a nice girl they're sending him. Oh, do, don't worry, Mother. You see, I could have asked that girl from the bacon counter at the co-op, only she's got Bay City rollers tattooed on her arm. <laughs> Didn't find any budgies in the pocket, did you? <laughs> hey, no, I found a pack of cards, though. Look, look, hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, I know how he does that trick now. Oh, I'm sure the young lady will be proud to accompany you to the ball, Selwyn. What, what time's she coming, Morris? Does that answer your question? I'm going in the kitchen. No, well, answer it. You go. No, you go. Oh, I'll go. Vera, why are you all dressed up? Why aren't you? Well, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, don't <laughs> lie to me, Morris. If they'd take my name off that list, I'd have never known anything about it, what you've done. Known anything about what? You've been waiting. Selwyn, come on, Prince Charming. <laughs> oh, Morris. <laughs> what can I say? Don't say anything, look. Just take Selwyn to the ball. Well, are you sure you don't mind? Mind? That's the first time he's been dressed like that in his life. Mind? I insist. It's not right with you, Sally. Of course it is, Morris. As long as you, you do one thing, Vera, if, if anybody asks you... Doesn't he look smart, Vera? I, I borrowed it off a conjurer in Mexborough. <laughs> Come on, Vera. He's <laughs> going to do it. The legitimate he was grilled, never mind. When his questionnaire they filled, never mind. <laughs> But they didn't dot the eyes, or they must have told some lies. Because Vera was the prize, never mind. Selwyn looked a little beaut, never mind. In his smart magician suit, never mind. When they all got up to dance, in a trance, never mind. Oh!